All right, guys, 2010 Toyota Sienna, and it leaked oil from right down here, right? So right up under the hood, if you look at it, it's leaking oil right down here, right? Right down below here. The problem was this pipe right here, it's called the oil cooler pipes, all right? This is what leaked, all right? It had a small little hole right there somewhere, and it was shooting out like a spray of oil all right, so what I did was I removed that cover right there. It has number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10, a whole bunch of 10s all around, right? And that cover comes down. So this cooler that I removed was from right there, right? The seal is still hanging, but uh, you see it has one bolt, two bolt, three bolt, all right? The bolt all the way in the back right there is gonna give you a difficult time to remove, all right? But the best way to remove is Right here, this is what you're gonna use to remove that. You're gonna use a swivel, number 12, short, and that fits in there. First, put the swivel and the socket on, and then you're only gonna get a little corner of the extension on, all right? And then the other three bolts are from this side right here. If you can see, right there, you can't see yet. Let me wipe my hand down, and right there guys the other three bolts are from right there they came out pretty easy two of these came out pretty but just one in the back they didn't come out so good and it was rusted also so it was a little trouble but i got it out guys so there we have it we're gonna let the oil drip and when i get the new part i'll show you guys but anyways so if you have a leak so that's what it is guys right there and uh, the new pipe is gonna be all metal and that's gonna take care of a lot of things there so it won't happen in the future again and that's it guys and also remove this letter number 10 which was right up here that's holding that you got the new pipes for the cooler it's all metal has a little bit of flexibility to it that's what it looked like guys comes with the new seals and there's the part number if you guys need to know all right nicely wrapped comes with the covers here so nothing goes inside anyways there you go the job is complete the bolt all in the back put that in first because that's going to give you a hard time but anyways we completed the job and there's the oxygen sensor i'll put that back together and it's in there new pipes all right and put the cover back on and you're done guys thank you subscribe bye bye and i'll see you on the next one this job is going to take you probably good two hours three hours probably close to three hours to do it right clean it and uh those bolts if they're rusted they're not gonna come out if they come out easy very good if they don't come out so easy too bad guys all right bye bye